Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and uh, I am back with very interesting topic today that is why highly aqueous mobile phases must be avoided when using the C8 or C18 column by using the reverse phase liquid chromatography. So we all know that in case of reverse phase chromatography our stationary phase is going to be a non-polar and our mobile phase is going to be a polar. So how to make the mobile phase polar? By adding the aqueous component into it like a water. But the challenge over here is there is a limitation of adding the proportionate water inside the mobile phase. You cannot run the reverse phase chromatography with the very highly water content mobile phase for example 90%, 95% or even 100%. There are some challenges you have to resolve before you think about using the highly aqueous mobile phases. So what are those challenges? And after that, what are the solutions? How one can overcome those challenges suitably is going to be the part of today's video. But before I touch upon the content, let me first introduce myself to the you. My name is Bhaskar Napte and I am the founder of Pharma Growth Hub. So the Pharma Growth Hub is the platform which actually creates the very interesting courses for the pharmaceutical professionals just like you and you will get heavily benefited once you join the Pharma Growth Hub platform. Now the question you could be how I can join the Pharma Growth Hub platform. So to understand the entire process and the offer please check the description below this video. Thank you so much and do consider joining the Pharma Growth Hub today itself and don't postpone your success story. So let us move on to the today's video and let us first understand you know why chromatographer use the highly aqueous mobile phase. What make us to use the highly aqueous mobile phase and the number one reason could be probably to retain the highly polar molecules like organic acids for example ascorbic acid. So these molecules are highly polar in the nature and they will not retain sufficiently onto the reverse phase liquid chromatography because our stationary phase is non-polar and non-polar stationary phase will never retain these polar compounds. So what is another alternative you will have in your hand? You can have the polar mobile phase and how to make the mobile phase polar just by increasing the proportion of water inside the mobile phase. But again, there is a limitations on how much proportionate of water can be increased. Can you go until 70%? Can you go until 80%, 90% or 95%? What happens if you increase the proportion of water content inside the mobile phase is going to define how much proportionate of water content you will be able to use in your mobile phase. So first understand the nature of this uh, C8 or C18 stationary phase and we very well know that they are non-polar oil like material and uh, if it is a oil will it be miscible will it get mixed inside the water so the wetting of this oil oily material will not be possible out of the water containing mobile phase. So what happened the moment you have some proportion of organic solvent like ACN or methanol in the mobile phase. Now this organic solvent which is a non-polar in the nature will have good wettability with the C8 or C18. I mean this organic solvent can wet the C8 or C18 stationary phase pores and it is very important that you have to wet the C8 or C18 bonded stationary phase otherwise they will not be able to retain your compound. But in case if you do not have this organic solvent, if you do not have the non-polar solvent, if you have the 100% aqueous mobile phase, then this mobile phase will deweight the C8 or C18 bonded stationary phase. They will make the stationary phase dry. And this also happens because of the water has the higher surface tension, high surface tension. So the water molecule or the water which is flowing onto the stationary phase will not enter into the pores but it will just pass on to the, 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 the space available between the pores. The pores will never get opened up and you know that the stationary phase actually lies inside the pore of the silica and if the silica pore is not getting wet 
then how come this stationary phase will be in active mode now? And that is the number one reason why the aqueous phase is going to show you trouble. So please look at these two important uh, figures now. In the first figure, you will find that there is a silica and then there is a mobile phase containing water and the methanol. And in that case, you will find that your bonded stationary phase like C8 or C18 is properly wet now. But if you look at the bottom diagram, you will find that there is no presence of organic solvent like methanol. It only contains the aqueous mobile phase where your stationary phase or the, the bonded stationary phase is de-weighted. I hope you understand the difference between the weighted stationary phase and the de-weighted stationary phase. So when the de-weighting of the stationary phase happens, it is called as the stationary phase collapse. Means your stationary phase now got collapsed and it cannot be used for further retention of the compound. It also called as a chain folding and uh, stationary phase matting. So these are all the synonyms, but please understand that your stationary phase is not in the active mode as it is de-weighted because of the water present into a mobile phase. The polar analytes can have trouble partitioning into the de-weighted stationary phase now, right? As it is collapsed, not opened up, none of the analyte can actually have the interaction with the stationary phase. So a phase collapse results into a retention loss. It can be result into a irre irreproducible uh, retention time, uh, increased tailing and in case if you want to regenerate that column again from de-weighting to weighting, it will take more amount of time to happen this reverse process from de-weighting to weighting process. So first understand why the retention will get lost. See the retention will get happen because of the active surface of the bonded stationary phase. But look at here now, there is no stationary phase which is uh, in the active mode because uh, which is present inside the pore, right? And uh, if the analyte will not reach to the pore, how come the retention is going to happen, right? And because of that, the retention time will get lost. In case if you have the retention of 10 minutes with let us say 90% water and 10% methanol, right? In case if you use only 100% water, this 10 minutes retention time will get drastically reduced to let us say 3 to 4 minutes of the time. And that is the reason of uh, the retention lost. The second important point is what e reproducibility in the retention time. As the, the de-weightability is not going to be consistent, uh, it can change over a period of time. And because of that, your retention time variation is going to happen. So please understand and check in case if you're having the lot of retention time variation, it could be because of the highly contained aqueous mobile phases. And uh, last but not the least, the increased tailing. The peak will start tailing uh, because of the very high content of organic, sorry, high content of aqueous phase. And the, the moment you let us say complete the analysis, you know, now you need to again restore this uh, de-weighted stationary phase by passing the organic solvent into it. So that is called as again the equilibration or regeneration of the column we will say. So that will take little longer time as compared to the mobile phase containing the organic solvent. So I hope you now must have understood what are the troubles you will have in case if you have the highly aqueous uh, mobile phases. Let us now understand in case if it is uh, the limitation that you have no any option but you have to use only aqueous or highly aqueous mobile phases. So how one can develop a suitable method, what kind of columns can be used is the part of this presentation or this particular section of the talk. So please uh, in case if you are using the end capped column, don't use the end capped column in case if you are using the highly aqueous mobile phase. The reason is this non end capped columns will have the free silanol groups and these silanol groups are little polar in the nature, right? And these polar silanol groups will easily get wet by the water. Water is also polar in the nature. So by that way, because of this, as silanol groups get wet, the bonded stationary phase will also 
get little weight and because of that your analyte can get interacted with the stationary phase. Use the short chain alkyl phases. I mean so C3, C4 stationary phases are not that popular for our routine and a small molecule analysis. But in case if you are using the highly aqueous stationary phases, mobile phases, you will get the better result with the short chain alkyl phases. And the reason is why? Because it will have the free volume between the bonded chains and a little shielding of the cylinder gate occurs. See, in, in reality, the cylinder groups will help you to weight your stationary phase. Use hydrophilic stationary phase as obvious because that will have the like attracts like. The, the hydrophilic stationary phase will easily get weighed by the aqueous mobile phase and hence the weightability will never be an issue. And the hydrophilic stationary phase can be containing uh, amine or amide, amide or phenyl or maybe uh, pentafluorophenyl stationary phases. They can be called as the hydrophilic stationary phases and they can be used in case if you have the higher proportionate of aqueous uh, mobile phases. Use polar embedded alkyl phases. I think this is the example probably I have given the phenyl and pentafluorophenyl, amine, amide stationary phases. And last but not the least, you can also try out the wide pore diameter phases because the bigger is the pore size, the chances of getting this pore uh, wet by water high, will be higher. The bigger is the pore, the chances of water penetration will be higher. And the smaller is the pore, the smaller will be the chances of penetration of water inside the pore. So always consider using a column having the wide pore uh, uh, stationary phases. So thank you so much. I think uh, this will certainly help you to navigate your way and come out of this uh, challenge where you have to use highly aqueous mobile phases. Thank you.